I'm screaming. Hello everybody, my name is Jack, also known as Vicky Vibrato. I have transformed myself into a drag queen. Um, many of you may know me from when I used to make YouTube videos in middle school and high school. I think I stopped when I was around 16. I moved to the East Coast. I currently live in New Jersey. I'm in college. And over the past year, I've sort of um, been experimenting with drag and makeup. I started doing makeup when I was in quarantine back home when the pandemic first started. Since then, obviously, all the gay clubs have been closed and trying to um, sort of break into the drag scene during the pandemic has been really, really hard. I've been doing my best to use social media to sort of um, kind of get my little drag gig started. But I have all my makeup in front of me today. I just wanted to sit down put on a look and sort of um, update you guys on, on everything that's been going on. Do, 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 do. I have my mirror down in this corner, so if you see me looking down there, that's why. So if you are new to drag um, and sort of understanding uh, sort of what drag queens go through, I'm about to glue down my eyebrows with my Elmer's glue, but there's tons of brow tutorials on YouTube. So if you want to know how, you can let me know and I'll make a video later, but I'm going to go. I'll be right back and my eyebrows are going to disappear. Okay. <laughs> okay, I finished covering my eyebrows. I actually tried to film this video a few days ago and it did not go very well. So as you can see, just a big lumpy head. So I'm gonna prime my face. Um, I use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and I'm almost out of it. I need to get more, but um, I really like it. I don't really know if it does that much, but mm. So I use a MAC Studio Fix foundation. I've never used a bougie foundation before. I actually really like it, but they don't freaking sell it with a pump. So I take a dirty makeup brush and dig it inside because I'm not about to buy the pump. So. I've recently been using this little sponge I found from Juno & Co on TikTok and it's a normal beauty blender but it has little baby microfibers in it and for some reason I just think it like blurs the foundation and makes it look a lot smoother. <laughs> in case you guys cannot tell I'm sitting in this room with my two roommates Erica and Andrew and they're eating crunchy bread. This is the best concealer I've ever used in my life and it's my favorite thing in the whole world and I use it to completely cover my eyebrows and to get rid of my um, under eyes, and I love it. Okay, I've finished concealing. Do you see the difference? Look, do you see that? You cover it, cover it completely. I guess I could sort of talk about basically what's happened since I used to make YouTube videos a lot. Um, I currently am getting a degree in musical theater on the East Coast. I'm obsessed. I've always wanted to live over here. I sort of, like I said before, kind of got into makeup because my mom always um, was just always doing her makeup and my mom likes crazy, bold, amazing colors and she always wears like really bright eyeshadow to work and stuff and so when I was home for quarantine, I sort of just started playing in her makeup because I was bored and I always would like watch beauty gurus and follow lots of makeup influencers on social media but I never really like started like playing with it and I think because I would watch so many tutorials and stuff, I was able to sort of pick up on it kind of quickly. Now what we are going to, what are we going to do? We're going to powder the face. This Anastasia Beverly Hills Alyssa Edwards palette is probably um, the best palette I've ever used. I pretty much use every color to get in drag. I use it for blush, for contour, for... So I use the shade Ho to snatch my nose and it works perfectly. I'm not really talking about what I'm doing, so maybe I'll do that eventually, but I kind of just felt like, you know, just being cute, being cute and gay on the camera. Okay, I'm finished with my nose. I usually add a little white dot at the end, but I, um, like I just said, I wait to the end because I feel like it ties it all together. And recently I have not been contouring. I don't like it, I don't want it, and I really just don't want to do it. So I've been using just tons and tons and tons of blush. Juvia's Place palette, neon pink. This huge pimple on the side of my face. I'm obsessed. Okay. The next part is my absolute favorite part. I love doing the eyebrows. I use um, the Anastasia brow pen and the dip brow. I feel like your ass was leaking. So I have my lines. This is like where the eyebrow starts and I usually draw it directly on my eyebrow and then I take it above the eyebrow and now I'm gonna add my little hair like strokies. Okay, I'm pretty much done with the eyebrow. Kind of spiky, kind of 
evilly sexy realness. I'm living for them. Now I'm gonna go into some eyeshadow. Today we're doing blue. Bright, bright, like electric royal blue. Um, so I, what I usually use to start my eyeshadow is the P. Louise eyeshadow base. My favorite thing ever. I will never not do my makeup without this. P. Louise. And I squared it on my hand. I'm gonna put on my eyelid. And I'm gonna take my Alyssa Edwards palette with shade Dream It and use this as, as my little shade. So this is sort of what the base is gonna look like. Um, and I'm gonna go in and sort of blend this line out. I'm gonna go do this to the other eye and I will be right back. Okay, so I finished most of the blue base on my eyes. And what I've really been enjoying recently is taking this white Muron cream and I go right under the brow and I sort of blend it down into the found, uh, into the eyeshadow. And then you take another light shade and you add it on top. You guys are gonna queef and scream because it looks so good. And I'm gonna show you right now. I'm loving these eyes. I'm kind of obsessed with them. I'm gonna take the same blue and smoke it down under the lash line. So, to go with my outfit and my hair, I'm gonna cut the crease with orange, um, and I'm gonna start with this burnt orange color called Heat Wave, and I'm gonna start that on the outer and go in with the lighter color on the inner. Okay, I finished cutting my crease. I love it. I kind of feel like a goldfish princess. Hello, um, we had to take a little break because the camera ran out of storage, but I am about to start my liner. I added a little bit of a nice shimmery shade uh, where I cut my crease. Um, we're gonna go in with the liner. This part always makes me very nervous um, because I'm still learning with liner. I finished the liner, it looks fine. It's fine, when we put the lashes on top, it will all blend together. Um, I'm gonna go in with this little NYX white liner, it's like my favorite thing. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna be using this glitter from a company called Ray Fantasyland. You can find them on TikTok. Um, that's where I found them at least. I love this glitter, it's like a liquid, chunky, amazing, orangey. All right, we just had so many technical difficulties. Um, I had to keep getting ready because the sun's going down and I wanna go take some pictures. So, look at this glitter. Can you see the glitter through this crazy red mullet? Of course you can. I went and touched the blue up around my eyes um, and sort of made it a little more pigmented. I noticed it was a slight bit patchy watching some of those videos back. I was like, ooh. Um, I added my lashes, I added a little orange lip. I'm about to put on, um, a little orange lip gloss. We can do that together right now. Yeah, I, I'm obsessed. This blue flame, like, of course. I'm gonna pair it with some black gloves. My favorite black gloves you always see on my Instagram, but oh my gosh, you guys, thank you so much for joining me on this little YouTube video gig. Am I gonna keep doing videos? I don't know. A weekly sort of schedule will not come out at this time because I'm not gonna be committing to that right now. But hopefully, you know, in the future, I don't know what's gonna be going on. I had a lot of fun. It sort of gives me a reason to get in drag and play with drag and work on getting better at makeup, and I love that, and I wanna share that with you guys. Um, now I'm gonna go take some pictures. Okay, I'm making my way down the stairs. We're gonna go outside, take some pictures. This is the, oh. Oh. So, we tried to take photos outside our house, and I was just not living. I guess we could, uh, it's just so bright. We found this cute checkered wall vibes. Oh, like right there. Oh my gosh, I'm screaming. I hope this works. All right, honey. Went to this abandoned restaurant. There's cars everywhere looking at my butt. But you know, you do what you do for an Instagram pic. Shout out to Andrew. Ooh! It's walking in the snow in my heels. But honey, look at the, honey, look at the material. So if you guys would please do me a favor, follow me on Instagram and TikTok and Twitter at Vicky Vibrato. I'm trying to, I'm almost at 500 followers on the Instagram. I know it's not very much. I don't know, I don't really remember how YouTube works. Subscribe, thumbs up. Anyway, I love you and bye.